In one sentence, are you more excited or more afraid of the future development of AI? I'm excited about the potential benefits of these AI systems, but at the same time, I'm equally excited about the need to study the potential risks that might arise and, um, and, uh, and developing mechanisms to address those risks. The nature of the topic is that many people don't know what it, what it really actually is. Is it the, the so-called black box? You could say that there is a black box design in the sense that there are others who can get access to the internals of the system that, that certain other people uh, can't get. But that's a design choice. But then there is another type of black box in the sense of um, even the designers not, under, not potentially understanding certain um, emergent properties of the system. Um, that, mm -hmm. that is, you have designed a system with a certain goals, and sometimes the system seems to perform better in certain, uh, at certain tasks um, and sometimes much worse uh, at certain other tasks. And uh, even as designers, um, sometimes experts cannot often, uh, cannot always accurately predict the performance of the system. And that's another type of black box where uh, what it is implying is that um, we don't fully understand um, how or why these systems are working. Which capabilities and risks do you see in AI systems like ChatGPT? One specific risk that uh, that I personally um, worry about is its use in uh, in knowledge retrieval. We have always used search engines for uh, for finding answers to questions that we're interested in, but the interface of search engines is one where you can actually see multiple answers. As a human, you're placing an effort into framing a search query. And then you see a whole set of answers and the interface is one that enables you to get a feel for whether there are potentially uh, different opinions on a particular topic um, yeah. and so on. Now, search engines themselves have some search biases and uh, this is something that has been studied. Um, and uh, ChatGPT, one of the other problems that it has is it hallucinates in the sense of it sometimes makes up information, but there is no way its confidence in its own answer is communicated to humans. The concerns that, ex that already exist in the context of um, biases in with search engines get uh, multiplied many, fo many fold. Would you say that it's uh, a risk of GPT that it's confident and sometimes it's con sometimes it's confidentially wrong? Yes, it, it's it's very confidently wrong, um, and and there is um, not an intuitive way in which um, people are able to understand its confidence. So one of the risks could be that humans take the false information for granted and for real and because it's so confident yes. they believe it and then they trust yes. it but it's wrong. How close are current AI systems, how close are they to artificial general intelligence? Yes, <laughs> the, the, the question of artificial general intelligence. I'm smiling because this is a um, uh, this uh, this question of artificial general intelligence tends to elicit um, a lot of different types of responses um, from people, and I think, um, and even experts, and it's, and I think, it's probably because it's not a super well-defined term. Let's go with a potential understanding of the term as um, systems that may have been um, trained for a specific task, but. Um, are showing certain uh, emergent properties. And we are often happy if a, um, if a program that is being trained to play chess is able to handle any situation that appears on this chessboard. Now, what I think is fascinating people is while this is the basic capability um, for which it has been trained, um, these models, they're showing some emergent behaviors where they are able to solve um, uh, certain problems that nobody would expect them um, to solve. Like, does this mean that we're closer to artificial general intelligence? Um, I personally feel that um, these are very complex systems and when you design a very complex system, it, it can show some emergent behaviors that are, um, that are absolutely fascinating from a research perspective to try to understand where they are coming from. We often hear about these amazing emergent properties. I also think um, these models have 
very, very poor performance on certain um, simple tasks as well. And we might, all, we might all have experienced it. Sometimes you're interacting with ChatGPT and it's giving an answer that makes you go like, really? So sometimes the perception can be that the system is far more intelligent than what it actually is. When we're talking about AGI, um, many people think of like the Terminator or something that's uh, gonna enslave humanity. Um, but is it actually a threat to humankind? I think the analogy of Terminator uh, is perhaps, um, it, it, I'm, I'm pretty certain that it is the wrong one. And so I don't think there is any existential threat. Um, absolutely not. But at the same time, uh, I think these systems can definitely cause um, disruptions um, to society. Um, and uh, what I mean by uh, disruption is not necessarily um, in a negative way, uh, but it would change certain things in the society. They're enabling us to solve problems that couldn't be done, couldn't be solved before, uh, that will cause certain disruption, um, either in terms of how we learn things, how we um, educate kids, or how we um, uh, how we have societal discourse. I wish that our focus was more on um, on how um, the daily use of these systems is affecting um, people's lives, and then uh, focus on how do we regulate the use of these systems um, in a manner that uh, that is that uh, is beneficial for the society. So my fear uh, or, or my concern with these analogies with Terminator is that it's actually distracting from a bigger picture problem.